Welcome everybody. Uh, this is gonna be an after run review of the Besher RZ4 uh, rally car from Hobby King. As you may see in my uh, last two videos, last two or three videos, uh, I was out with uh, this car and I uh, tried it with uh, the original tires and I made uh, uh, two drift uh, videos uh, which uh, I left the car uh, a stock I only changed uh, the tires to uh, very hard compound uh, drift tires uh, if you haven't seen uh, those videos you may che check my uh, channel and see them uh, now I'm going to talk about a little bit of uh, my experience with the car and uh, as you can see uh, I had a, a little accident after shooting my uh, videos I will talk about uh, uh, this also uh, so first of all uh, when I first tried this car outside I used uh, drift uh, tires uh, the setup was was full stock, and then when I started uh, to go around a few laps, uh, the pinion gear uh, came loose, and as you can see, uh, it uh, meshed uh, with the spur gear. So, so as you can see, it damaged the half of the spur gear. But uh, after I tightened the pinion, I could uh, use it. So it's not entirely useless right now, but uh, I may uh, have to change it soon, this spur gear. Uh, after that, I went to the playground track and uh, started to uh, drifting around which was uh, very fun and uh, the car behaved uh, very good uh, out of the box so it was uh, nice to uh, drive it and then I uh, did a few laps with the original tires uh, which had uh, um, which had a very mm, good grip on asphalt track. Uh, one thing I noticed that uh, this car uh, doesn't uh, come with a sway bar installed, and uh, at the corners it behaved like it. Uh, at the corners uh, the rolling over was a uh, bit more uh, than I uh, expected so I think uh, a sway bar for the front and rear would be a very good uh, upgrade also I uh, haven't changed the droop settings and uh, it's kinda rawest uh, that way because the droop is set to the maximum uh, so if you want to drift with it or if uh, you want it to use only on on road uh, with uh, high grip uh, tires then you may want to uh, make the droop smaller or shorter then then a car will behave much better uh, in the corners and uh, after a few laps, unfortunately, I hit uh, something very badly. So as you can see, my front arm is broken. And also this front outdrive is also uh, broken. So I will have to change it 
But actually, it wasn't the car's fault because uh, I, I hit that thing very hard. I will show you uh, that uh, accident. So as you can uh, as you can see, it was a uh, a hard hit. Fortunately, the shock doesn't have any damage, but uh, maybe the bumper a little bit. Okay, so few words uh, about the body. Uh, the body is very nice, but uh, it looks very nice, but uh, I think the quality it's uh, not that good. So you you saw my uh, crash with this car. So it's kind of okay that the, the body damages a little bit, but uh, what happened to this body is more than a, a little damage. Actually, it fell into pieces, so uh, I had to tape it at the rear end, and I don't think I can do anything with, uh, with the front. So maybe I will tape it from the inside. Actually, if you buy uh, uh, this car, you may want to, to tape the whole body from the inside, with some duct tape or some uh, glass fiber tape, don't know. Uh, I think uh, it's a must to do with this body because it's it's very weak. So it's a weak point of of the car. Unfortunately, because it it looks uh, very good, so I really like uh, that body. But with that quality, you have to be precautious. So, so tape the whole body from the inside to make sure it doesn't uh, crack so easily. Uh, I read it on a forum that uh, the X-rays uh, T4 uh, front arms may be compatible with uh, this car. I think um, I'm gonna give it a shot and order uh, the X-ray T4 front A arms and uh, I hope uh, they will fit uh, on the car. I will get back with this information uh, later to you guys to see if uh, it's a perfect fit or not. And also, my next upgrade will be uh, front and rear sway bars to the car. Uh, other than that accident, uh, the car behaved uh, very nice. It, uh, it was a, a blast to drive. Also, with uh, rally tires and uh, the drift tires. And so. The electronics work perfectly, it has uh, enough power, so uh, I think the car itself uh, proved to be a very good car, but, uh, <laughs> but I was a little bit hard with it. Okay, so uh, next time I think I'm gonna order a few parts for it and maybe I will assemble it together again on my next video. So 
that is for all. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Goodbye.